but I'm... Yes? There's not enough glamour in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, so Spellbound is about capturing the glamour of these decades. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for my feelings for the 2013 collection, I want Excuse to tell it. you this. It's illegal As to film. an industry leader, we must look back. I have allowed to join my, uh, my club to come and work with me. I found someone very, very special, and I'd like to introduce her if I could. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Jo Wilcox. Jo Allen Stane. Hello. Now, Jo, many people... Uh, for all of you out there, uh, Jo has joined my team. She's very nervous. Like this. She's all right. She's all right. There are two. Yeah, I'm here today who celebrate your craft, who love the art of dressing hair, who love hairdressing. Well, then this hair show today is a gift to you because we are going to be looking at different techniques that many of you uh, would love to learn a little bit more about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to start off in the 1930s. But first of all, I want to say a huge welcome to my friends along the very, very front. Uh, Stuart and Tina, welcome along. We've got a little surprise. Lately, into four sections, and I've just simply braided the hair. Now, on the very top of the hair, I've taken out of the very, very top of the hair a section. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've put a parting through the very middle of the hair, like this. And on either side, I've taken one centimetre each side, and all I've done here is I've placed through the very top of the hair a conical wand. Let me just show you this. There's my conical wand. Katie, this is the very one you burn your fingers with. What we're going to do here is this. Now, as I'm wanding the hair, I'm going to stand at the very front of my model. I place her head down, and I conical wand over towards the front, like so. So I do this and coming forward. Now I've done one, two, three, four, five, and again five on the opposite side. Now I right here and we'll brush this out. Okay, like that. Now you're on that side, Squire. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come over on your side first, shall I? Here we go. Let's start over this side. Now as you can see, the waves are already starting like this. What we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is this. We're going to start off and I'm going to spray the hair just a very little bit. Now, my last collection, I talked about waving and I talked about different ideas with waving. Well, today, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to wave the hair. I'm going to spray it and wave it. Now, to wave hair successfully, we need to use these. These are called butterfly clips. Now, ladies and gentlemen, butterfly clips are something from a very bygone era, from the 1920s and 30s. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to wave the hair, and I spray the hair down again. We can see here on our camera work through the front hair. I place my hand on the front area, and I simply just pull the wave back again like this. And I'm just going to spray that, or spray that, spray you there almost. Take the hair, spray it again, and simply just take your clip and place your clip on top of the wave. Let's do it again one more time. We'll place this down here. Again, just brush the hair down there. We're going to spray the hair there like this. Just spray it a little bit there. And all I'm doing here, ladies and gentlemen, is just placing through the hair a very, very gentle wave. So I'm going to come back through the hair here like this. We'll brush this down here. And again, we'll place this into a wave. Spray around the front. Like so, Oops, there we go, didn't get that right, there it is there, spray that there. Now as I'm working, I just sort of spray it, and we're going to come back around again over to the very, very side area. And we're going to place this into a clip to hold on to. Now ladies and gentlemen, what I've done, and you're going to notice here, I haven't done the wave all the way back to this. You can see that in the camera, there's my first wave. Take your clip and place your clip directly onto the first wave. See like this, the first wave on. Now ladies and gentlemen, I know that quite often these are very hard to get hold of, these little waving clips. Well, as if by magic, uh, of course, we have them downstairs at the Patrick Cameron stand. We've got to vlog you something. There we go. Now, as we're working here, I'm just going to take this down here, place this in, and let's once again do this down here like so. So as I'm working now, we're just simply placing the hair into our beautiful little butterfly clips. Now, for those of you that think that perhaps you could use something different than a butterfly clip, because I'm often asked, what else can I use if I don't have these? And my answer is very, very simple. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to create the wow factor in beautiful waving, then you need these clips. And these clips are incredible. 
There we go, we'll come down to the next area here. Now they come in two different sizes, and I always say that you need both sizes. We've got a smaller one here, so we'll place a small one there, and we'll wave this last little bit back, like this, and we'll place this in here, we'll spray this in, and place this here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, I always use sort of the two different sizes as I'm working. Just be careful you don't get her air. There's that side done. Okay, Eleanor will watch this very carefully. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to place this into the back of the hair. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we want to do for the 1930s, the 1930s was all about this beautiful placed hair. Uh, what I'm going to do here now is this. We're going to start off, I'm going to place all the tails underneath the back area here like this. So let's get all the tails out of there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come to the very back area of the hair, like so. Now the very back area of the hair, we have some plait. Oh, did I get your hair, Steph? Let me get, I'll take it off your hair. Oh, there we go, put it off your hair there. Now at the very back, let's just watch here on, the, on the, uh, the, the video. Take one side, pull one side around and place one side over. And we'll just pin this in to hold there like this. Okay, all the way around. We'll come around here. Let's go over to the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, take this side over and simply place this side all the way around over to here. Ladies and gentlemen, when we look back at the 1930s, we see a lot of beautiful placement of hair and beautiful elegant chignons deep into the back of the neck. So come around here. Now, if you want to, you could very easily just do this with just very normal plaits. You don't have to do uh, anything special. Just divide it into three normal plaits at the back of the hair. Come around here like this. We'll place this one in and we'll tuck this around. Come around here. Look, there's the back of it so far. Come around to the very, very top area here. We'll take one up here and let's place one up here on the very, very top of the head here like this. So as I'm going, I'm just placing these in here like so. There we go, all the way around here like this. We'll place that in and we'll just start to spray this around. Spray around the front like this and we'll come down now to the very bottom piece of the hair and we'll tuck the bottom piece in. Ladies and gentlemen, for me, the 1930s was about elegance. The 1930s was about this beautiful, beautiful feeling in the hair that was all about waves, all about chignons, all about really the elegance of dressing hair very flat to the head. We didn't see lots of volume in the 30s. We saw hair that really was all about sort of anti-gravity. Hair that was very small uh, around the neck area. Hair that was very flat around the front. Can you see there now, as I'm going, we've got the most beautiful chignon started in the very back part of the hair there, like this. <coughs> now I'm going to go to the front, let's start taking the front out. Let's have a little look at the front as we go. Oh, we go, oh, oh, oh. here they come out, they're coming out here now. Let's just have a little look as we're going here with the very front of the hair. We'll pull this out of here. Let's have a little look at that one. There it is there. Let's come around a little bit so. further again. We'll take this side out of here like so, and we'll start pulling this out of the back area here like that. There we go, just taking these out of here now like this. What we're ending up with is we're ending up with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful 1930s feel in the hair itself. I love this look. I think waving the hair, since we've had programs on TV like Downton Abbey and so on and so forth, we're seeing a lot of people really interested again in this sort of era of hair. Again, guys, this sort of era of hair for me is all about the glamour of how it works. Ladies and gentlemen, there she goes. Our first one. Let's bring these over again. Okay, Maggie, I'm going to get you to come over here with me. Here we go. Let's place Maggie here. So as you can see, Joe's been working on the hair there now and getting the hair in uh, the, this, this lovely set. Now again guys, pin curling is really fashionable again. We're seeing a lot of pin curling uh, back into the hair. You can roll a set or you can pin curl. Pin curling is just a little bit different. It's a little bit softer through the hair and it enables you to do all sorts of wonderful things. Now, there we go, thank you. Now let's have a little look at this. Let's take a tiny little bit of our styling cream through the hair there. Joe, I'll get you to just take those all those waving grips and pop those a little bit. Oh, no, keep them there for a second. I want to show you this technique was from the 1930s. Reverse pin curl set. Now what I want to do is I want to update it and show you how we use this sort of set in the, in the 2013. We're going to pull the hair back up again. We're going to come around here. Now, as I'm working here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to start to pull the hair out. 
Again, I just want this really beautiful, beautiful, strong curl. And as I'm working, I'm just starting to fizz the hair through here. That looks nice there. Now, Joe, let's just take a little bit of this. Take a section clip, uh, a butterfly clip. Let's place our butterfly clip onto the hair here like this. Pull this through here. Da -da -da place it there. Now, find the wave of what you're going to work with. Spray the hair like this. Take the hair wave in. And all I'm going to do is this. Just come back in again and place your butterfly clip on. We'll take another one. Da -da, that'd be nice like that. Let's come around here. <laughs> <laughs> All I want is I just want a really lovely, casual feeling with the hair itself. But again, ladies and gentlemen, we want to really sort of make sure that we get that feeling of what it was all about in the 1920s and 30s. So we're going to come back in here again and place this in here, put the wave in. We're going to come back again, Maggie, just pull this back here again, put that in here. Mm. This hairstyle here could really go down the red carpet like That's that. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, off she goes! And now let's go into the 1940s. So the 1940s, from this feeling here where we had beautiful waves in the hair, we're going to go from waves into rolls. So ladies and gentlemen, the 1940s. Here we go. Again, it's about keeping it simple. Whenever we're working with long hair, it's about keeping it simple. On the hair itself, all I've done is I've gone through from ear to crown to ear. Place the hair pad there. 